to you, O blessed Joseph, who become in our affliction, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the fraternal love with which you embraced the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful martyr of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, Ward out from us every contagion of error and incorruptible influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us, and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's whole church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection, so that supported by your example in your day, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Good morning. Good morning. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. As we come together in the loving presence of God, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and prove the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary of our Virgin. May we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. from Sukkot, about 600,000 men on foot, not counting the little ones. A crowd of mixed ancestry also went up with them. Besides their livestock, very numerous flocks and herds. Since the dough they had brought out of Egypt was not leavened, they baked it into unleavened loaves. They had rushed out of Egypt and had no opportunity even to prepare food for the journey. The time the children of Israel had stayed in Egypt was 430 years. At the end of 430 years, all the hosts of the Lord left the land of Egypt on this very date. This was a night of vigil for the Lord as he led them out of the land of Egypt. So on this same night, all the children of Israel must keep a vigil for the Lord throughout their generations. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. His mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. Who remember us in our affliction, for his mercy endures forever, and free us from our foes, for his mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. Who smote the Egyptians in the firstborn, for his mercy endures forever, and brought out Israel from their midst, for his mercy endures forever. With a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, for his mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. Who split the red sea in twain, for his mercy endures forever, and led Israel to his midst, for his mercy endures forever, but swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea, for his mercy endures forever.
not fear. The Pharisees went down and took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. When Jesus realized this, he withdrew from that place. Many people followed him, and he cured them all. But he warned them not to make him known his words to fulfill what had been spoken through Isaiah the prophet. Behold, my servant, whom I have chosen, my beloved, in whom I delight. I shall place my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not contend or cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, a swarming wick he will not quench. Until he brings justice to victory, and in his name the Gentiles will hope. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. We have been following how. God, Yahweh, saved the Israelites from the Egyptians and the Pharaoh. And today, we heard God delivered them. But it took long, long years, hundreds and hundreds of years. It's very important for us to know that. It is very important in our prayer life to know that the Israelites were under persecution and slavery for many, many years. When our needs we bring to the Lord, we should be patient too. Today's world, everything is becoming ready made. Cash you punch, it pops out. You go to a machine, you put your card, you can get Coca Cola, you can get your snacks, just instant. In the olden days, you have to have coffee powder boiled for many, many minutes to get a good coffee. Now you don't need to. Instant. Or you just order Starbucks and just go and pick it up. Just everything just like that. And we think our prayers should be answered in that way. It's not so. Because when we pray, it's our will. We need this, we need that. And when God answers, it's not our will He is answering. His will and His plan. So to accept His will and plan, we need to go through conversion. We need to go through transformation. We need to go through repentance. Because it's purpose is not earthly. His purpose is not to make you all the time look young and healthy and sickless. His purpose is eternity. Eternal life. His purpose is not to give you positions and possessions or comforts. His purpose is to bring you to the eternal banquet of adoring 
and praising and glorifying God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. That is why our prayers takes time to be answered. And when we listen to the gospel, we heard Jesus knew they are plotting against him. He didn't go to them and argue with them and fight with them and make them heal into view, but still continued working, empowering the broken, the wounded, and making them open slowly their hearts so that he can come. Same thing, we are in the house of the Lord. I repeat always because you need to know we are in the house of the Lord and the Lord is present and he is going to come in a very concrete manner. Ask yourself, how am I preparing to receive him? How is my heart? Is there treachery? Is there jealousy? Is there anger? Is there hatred? Is there malicious, deceitful, cunning thoughts? If they are there, acknowledge and ask God to take it away and let His mercy come in and prepare the way just like John the Baptist proclaimed, He is come. Amen. Amen. Our God desires our freedom and leads us to it. In confidence, let us bring our prayers to Him. For the Church, may the Holy Spirit be upon our leaders in their efforts to bring deeper freedom to all God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we all pray for public officials. May God guide them to be agents of his justice for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we all pray. For all those enslaved by sin and fear, may the Lord set them free. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we all pray. For this community of faith, may God make us a powerful instrument of his peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we all pray for all that have died. May God welcome them into eternal rest in Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we all pray for our personal intentions. For the special intentions of this Mass which are for the end to the spread of the COVID-19 virus and for an end to the pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we all pray. Blessings for all members of our Lady of the Council Church and School. Birthday blessings for Patrick, Wright, Ryan, Leah. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we all pray. For the eternal repose of the souls of Juanita, Sarjonio, Maxine Batana, and Alfred Algar Samente, Sr. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we all pray. Let us ask for the intercession of our Blessed Mother as we pray. Loving God, hear these prayers, we make them through Jesus Christ, our Lord.
sacrifice the rivers. May they accept the God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with these sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request to be made in vain through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we are called, how thankful we will praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things, and extended your moment and mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with the ears in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Remember, Lord, your church spread to our world, 
and bring forth the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Lali, our Bishop, all the bishops stand good. Remember all the intentions that are mentioned in the child in our hearts and the hearts of many who join us through live stream. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep with the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray. That the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph the Spouse, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints, Saint Damien, Saint Mary Anne, Saint Francis Saviour, blessed is Tanya, the Lady of Good Counsel, who have pleased you throughout the ages, remain married to me, for age to be alive, and I praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Prohiman with me, man in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is your forever and ever. And the Savior is commanded and informed by divine teaching, we they are to call our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us for our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant these in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said there are causes, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Share with one another Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. For I am not worthy that it should be a good fire. But when you say the word, my soul shall be healed.
fellow communion prayer together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present to the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we, who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary, may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist is celebrated Christ in our heart. Go in peace. Amen. Anybody celebrating birthday today? We have one. Anybody celebrating? Or two? Anybody celebrating the anniversary of the sacrament of marriage? We pray for our birthday celebrants. Loving Father, we thank and praise you for the gift of life that you have given to our parishioners. Watch over them, bless them, protect them, and shield them so that they may experience life in its fullness. At this very moment, as we gather in faith, praying for them, send your spirit upon them, touch them. If there is any kinds of violation, physical, spiritual, emotional, or psychological, they may experience through your intervention, healing and wellness of life. Mother Mary, in the sea for them. Angels, guard them. Saints, lead them. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a blessed day and keep yourself out of the sun, otherwise you will be like me. <laughs> <laughs>